firstly, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade iCloud storage and then I'll tell you why I changed my iCloud storage. So launch settings, tap on your name, select iCloud and now as you can see I have 50 GB storage available. Many of you must be on 5 GB plan. So to upgrade your iCloud storage, tap on this manage storage option. Now hit change storage plan. Now here you have different options. You can choose the storage based on your requirement. See I have 256 GB iPhone. So 50 GB iCloud storage was not enough for me. If you have 128 GB iPhone or 64 GB iPhone, 50 GB iCloud storage could be enough for you because iCloud backs up only your data, not the apps or the downloaded stuff. So you can check that easily in your iPhone's storage settings. But for now, I'm gonna select this 200 GB plan. Now hit buy. Now enter Apple ID password and hit sign in. And there you go. Now I have 200 GB iCloud storage. So let's hit OK. And as you can see, the storage is changed immediately. I can use this 200 GB iCloud storage across all my Apple devices, Mac, iPad, everything that is connected to this Apple ID. Obviously, this is gonna charge you every month for this 50 or 200 GB plan. So you should know that. And if you don't want it anymore, you can cancel it anytime. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put the iCloud backup on. Let's say, okay. Done. Now, this will backup my iPhone to iCloud. See, the reason for choosing iCloud backup is I don't get much time to connect my iPhone to iTunes and do the backups regularly. iCloud backup is very easy. Your iPhone is charging, it is connected to Wi-Fi and it will backup your data to iCloud automatically. You don't have to do anything and that way I can have access to my most recent backup available. The second main reason is it is very difficult to remember so many passwords. So if I ever forget my iTunes backup encryption password, I will lose all my data and I cannot afford to lose my data. So in case of iCloud backup, I don't have to remember anything. It is only my Apple ID password, which will be enough to restore all my data from iCloud. So that's the reason I'm upgrading to 200 GB plan. Now there is another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this iCloud photos toggle on. What it does is, it uploads every single photo and video from iPhone to iCloud. So now I can access my photos and videos from Mac, iPad or any browser from any computer in the world. So it makes sure that my photos and videos are safe and I can access them anytime I want. And believe me guys, this is very important. I can't tell you how many complaints I get from subscribers every day saying they are losing their photos and videos just because they don't remember their uh, iTunes backup encryption password. So better ways to go for iCloud way and be happy forever. <laughs> now after buying iCloud storage, you should also make sure that you backup data from only the required apps. So you should switch off the toggle for the apps that you don't want to save data in iCloud Drive. This will ensure that you will never run out of your iCloud storage. Do this activity once and you will see that you have saved a lot of iCloud storage. Now another advantage of 200 GB plan is you can share it with 5 of your family members. So once you buy it, 5 people can use it. You can share only 200 GB and 2 TB plan with your family members, not the 50 GB plan. So you should know that. And finally, if you don't want to pay for this extra iCloud storage plan, you can go back to your 5 GB free plan anytime and Apple will not charge you anymore. There is a separate tutorial on my channel which I will link in the cards as well as in the description below. That video will guide you step by step. Do check out that tutorial and ask me if you have any specific questions. And that's all for today. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you found it useful, do share it with your friends and loved ones. I am Vikas signing off for the day. I'll see you guys in the next one.